sometimes I'll use form just to find an image. So I think people would be surprised to, to realize how many of the poems in the book began with a pantoum just to find a single image. And that kind of repetitive form pushed me. The way I look at it is it pushes me deeper down the page. And, and as I, it's de pushing me deeper into myself. Um, and that's usually where I'll find a single image. So I can have maybe three pages of a pantoum and somewhere in the third page, I find the two lines that um, will become, you know, another poem. And I used to hate form when I was an MFA student. I hated form. If somebody gave me an assignment with form, my mind blanked out. And I just thought, oh, just another, another cage, another set of rules. But what I realized is that form is just this false sense of order and security. And so what I found, for me, the most freeing is is to pretend I'm locked in a form and then realize there, you know, you've got these boundaries. You've got the boundaries of, of the triolet, for example. And within that, those boundaries, you can go anywhere because you're never going to color out of the lines, you know. And so what that does is it usually makes me flex my mind a little bit more. And language, you know, I, I find that I use um, my language is a, a lot more complex and, and seems to be more than what I would do with it normally.